What's up, nerds? I'm Cup of Joey, and welcome back to another episode of r slash I'm Very Smart, where we are going to get super big brain educated by the guys that, you know, can name drop every single philosopher and a random IQ and all of that. Because, you know, they've got proof that they're smarter than us, and so we should definitely listen. Portion, wet floor. Not everyone will get this. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You're studying art. How could you possibly know what this pick means? Dude, everyone knows what H2O is. We were in the same biology contest last year, and you got fourth place. Then you got butt hurt and stormed off crying. Frick you, I got higher grades in biology and math than you, or did you forget? Oh no, I remember, I remember walking to the classroom during the lunch break and hearing and seeing you begging the teacher Mr. So-and-so for the grades because you need it for college. Eat crap and die. <laughs> oh gosh. It's another case of somebody starting the conversation just so that they can seem smarter and then absolutely freaking failed when it goes the other way. I knew a guy just like this. I knew a guy that would literally cry his way into like trying to get different things. Like he would get a detention and then cry and be like, but, but I don't deserve detention for doing fricked up thing because someone was mean to me yesterday and then like literally cry his way out of it. <laughs> And then, like, being all talking, like, oh, oh, eat crap and die, and, like, trying to seem like they were better because they're doing science over art, even though they're not good at science. You are absolutely gorgeous. I would love to chat to get to know you, perhaps meet and hang out soon, if you're up for that sort of thing. For sure. Thank you, BTW. How's your day going? So, do you have a licensed car in your own place, as in live by yourself? I do. BTW, apologies, I do not speak hick, ghetto, or tide pod, and I hate abbreviations. You went to school for a reason, so spell out your words. Just saying lol. Hmm, it's, it, it's funny that you would uh, talk about how you hate abbreviations and end that with an abbreviation, mate. Honestly, just write laughing out loud. <laughs> But oh god, hick, ghetto, or tide pod? Oh, we've got classism and racism all in one. What a really awful judgmental person. Also that, do you have your own place and live by yourself? That raises murderer like red flags straight away. And just because she said BTW, like everyone knows that that means by the way. I use it all the freaking time, come on. So this happened when OP decided to lend a book to their cousin. Did you ever end up enjoying hyperspace? I liked it a lot. First, disclaimer, I don't believe you're on the level of intellectual thought to understand my theory in its absolute form, so I've dumbed it down. Hope you enjoy. Well, in the book, physicist Michio Kaku claims he can outdo gravity on Earth simply by moving papers on his desk. However, I don't think that means gravity is weak, as he implies. The Earth demands extraordinary speed to escape his orbit, so maybe mass and gravity are intrinsically linked, but not in the sense that gravity holds mass. You know what? I'm not going to continue. I'm not going to continue with any of this. Look at this. Look at all of this crap that they wrote. My God. And it's all just bollocks. It is all just absolute bollocks. It is all just freaking buzzword. Fancy scientific thing, you know, random, yeah, just as nuclear force applies to radioactivity, gravity applies to matter. What the frick does that even mean? That means absolutely nothing. And even though they'll go, oh, I dumbed it down for you because I don't think you're intelligent. And you can tell that they are using every single smart freaking word that they can think of here. Why? They wrote an essay and they didn't even answer whether or not they freaking liked the book. <laughs> oh, this is another post that gave me diarrhea. I'm going to end up reading these from the bog. Laugh away. I know how to divide by zero. I haven't figured out the mathematical slash physical ramifications of my discovery all the way yet, but needless to say, I feel a great responsibility to research its effects on reality before publishing my work. Like I said, laugh away, but I've outpaced Einstein and Stephen Hawking by discovering math they couldn't envision and I'm withholding my ideas until I'm okay with understanding what will happen to the public when I expect to release this new, outrageously simple but pretty damn profound teaching that will redefine our view of reality in space slash time. Again, laugh, but be ready to eat crow later. I don't want to eat a crow. Why do I have to eat a crow just because you're pretending that you understand something that is, you know, a mathematical impossibility? It's it's a meme. Let's face it, the whole divided by zero is a freaking meme. But, you know, let's let's pretend that he figured out this whole scientific impossibility. He would need to go and get that sort of written down, sent to a university, peer 
you know, reviewed, checked, confirmed by other scientists, and then eventually would, you know, collect his Nobel Peace, well, Peace Prize. <laughs> they said Peace Prize, but oh well. Mate, it wouldn't even be the Nobel Peace Prize. What the hell am I on about? <laughs> I'm talking crap. Sorry. The Nobel Prize for, you know, I guess physics or, or mathematics. Well, one of the two, not the Peace Prize. I don't know what Peace I would cause. Oh, Lord. But, but you... <laughs> I, just, I, I don't think that you should be telling people to eat crow. What the, what the hell does that even mean? Also, one thing that I really feel the need to point out is that Einstein and Stephen Hawking were never this arrogant. Like, they published their work, but they were never like, I am the greatest mind of all time about it. You know who was pretty arrogant? Thomas Edison. And he was figured out to have been, like, stealing patterns from people and all of that stuff. So, you kind fitting more into the into the box of uh bollocks sir <laughs> the two highest iq scores ever recorded belong to women unusual considering i've never met a woman smarter than me well that's unfair considering i've never met a man smarter than me either yet you're led with the misogyny <laughs> like this is the thing that i've noticed just like like for, for, let's play devil's advocate a little bit let's pretend that our good old protagonist red here let's pretend that he is genuinely the smartest person ever let's say that he's the smartest person he knows the smartest person in his village in his you know state in his country and well whatever let's say that he is very very smart why would it then be more surprising for women to be smarter than him than men Exactly. It's just uh, you know, it is clearly there's clearly an issue with women. He can't believe the idea of a woman being smarter than him, but for a man it's fine, even though he supposedly has never met a man smarter than him. I'm pretty sure I fart out stuff smarter than this guy. At real Donald Trump, my cabinet has highest IQ of any cabinet ever assembled. I've assembled cabinets from Ikea with higher IQs. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is the guy that said you should gargle bleach to get rid of, like, viruses and stuff. <laughs> no wonder he thinks that everybody around him has, like, the highest IQ ever. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's not going to take much to impress him. From an official poll on Donald Trump's website. Who do you believe is better for America, President Trump or a low IQ Democrat? <laughs> Really, really, I, I mean, you could just say, like, President Trump or a Democrat, and, like, even so, y you're gonna be attracting your audience, Trump, you don't need to put this in. Learnt? What does learnt mean? Am I not dumb enough to understand what learnt is? It's not that deep. Learn, past tense, learnt, past participle, learnt. <laughs> oh, freaking Rick and Morty picture as well. <laughs> This was clearly somebody doing that whole pseudo-intellectual thing where they're trying to sound smarter than there is. Like, oh, I, I have to pretend that this isn't a word that I understand because I couldn't possibly bear the thought of learned being spelled a different way. But in fact, that is the common way that you talk about, you know, learn in the past tense in the UK. So <laughs> instead of making himself seem more intelligent by putting this fake I don't understand thing, he just made himself look more ignorant. I hate saying this, but sometimes I realise because I'm smart, I get bored more than other people. It makes me feel more depressed. I feel like I have to dumb myself down for people to like me as well. I don't know. And sometimes I don't try during school just because I don't want to seem smart. <laughs> it just makes me sad. Well, I think I, I think I may have an idea as to why people don't seem to like this guy. And you know, I have like just a little inkling that it's actually nothing to do with how smart he is, but more the fact that he's got this weird kind of condescending superiority complex. Generally, smart people find it quite easy to make friends if you're not just, you know, trying to make everyone else feel bad at the same time. And then just putting this whole, where is me? There's 32 comments. I really wish I, I really wish I could see what they say. <laughs> Whether it's people like, oh yeah, man, I'm smart too. My IQ is a million and I'm sad. Or whether it's just going to be like, shut up, Gary. <laughs> <You know? laughs> so you're doing most of the research, right? Actually, I was hoping to construct the PowerPoint. After all, we never discussed it in class. I'm pretty sure we did. I mean, if you're really adamant about doing the PowerPoint, I can do the research. It's no big deal. Not trying to be pushy, but yes, I am pretty adamant about it. But I would also be willing to come to terms with it if you really wanted to do the PowerPoint, because it does take a certain amount of intelligence to conduct the research. Lol, what do you mean? 
I am saying I would understand if you feel more comfortable leaving the research to someone slightly more intelligent than yourself. And by the way, it's laughing out loud. Using ridiculous slang acronyms like that is not helping your case. Oh, let me let me tell you something about what's not helping your case, my guy. <laughs> Acting like this. The thing is, is that LOL is just like, LOL is, is like a common thing. While yes, it does technically stand for laughing out loud, everybody knows that it's just like a placeholder for actual laughter. Because let's face it, laughing out loud, what do you mean? That doesn't actually make any sense when you read it. Using ridiculous slang acronyms. So like even grandma uses it, get over it. And that whole, I understand if you feel more comfortable leaving it to someone slightly more intelligent than yourself. I'm sure that this person doesn't have any friends and this is exactly why. You can't go around, like, telling people that they're dumb, basically. You can't tell people that they're too stupid to understand something that you're in the same freaking class for, right? And then expect them to just be like, Oh, okay, as you're smart, I'll help, ba -ba -da. You, you know, like, <laughs> it's just such a horrible way to be. Not just another Tinder guy. I have an intricate history. Experiences and feelings. I'm complex. I study and read. I bet I've read everything you've read. I consume libraries. I do things like get in a lift and say, the library, and step on it. I feel and believe. I have opinions. Some of them are interesting. I believe the influence of Kierkegaard on Camus is underestimated. I believe Hobbes is just Rousseau in a dark mirror. I believe with Hegel, the transcendence is absorption. Well, folks, if you're anything like me, you'll be absolutely frothing at the crim from all of that. Oh, my, I mean, all of the name dropping. I bet that that's just like every, <laughs> every like philosopher he's ever heard of. And they're like, oh, I better, I better freaking Google like a, a, a really obscure one so that people will be like, oh, who's that? And then it's they'll look like, really smart. Yeah, Kierkegaard, don't do <laughs> Honestly, like, and especially, the, you know, he's not looking for anybody who actually knows what he's on about or understands philosophy as well. You know that this is somebody that's just looking for somebody that they deem not as smart as them so they can feel superior. Speaking of which, <laughs> who says the library and step on it? Who says anything and step on it? Is this guy just, like, living in some kind of film noir fantasy? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> We have two Wi-Fi channels. One is 2.4 gigahertz and one is 5 gigahertz. I really want to name them Who Are You and I'm You But Stronger. Technically, if you did so, it would be correct. The 5 gigahertz channel is able to support more devices on its channel due to having higher bandwidth. That and it's a more modern implementation into routers. I... I know. That's why I made the joke. Just pointing it out in case you didn't figured you might like to learn something. Clearly I understand how the frequencies work well enough to come up with the joke. Oh my god. Ah, we got a r slash I am very smart mixed with a little bit of mansplaining as well. Like, like, this this person who made a joke clearly about, you know, frequencies couldn't could possibly, couldn't possibly know what they were on about if they are probably female, which I'm guessing they are by the cutesy anime pic. That this is a guy that's like, oh, well, I need to teach them something because they probably don't know that they've actually said something correct. Even though that that was, like, kind of the whole point. Otherwise, they would have just said, oh, I have two Wi-Fi channels and one of them's stronger than the other or whatever. <laughs> I mean, for God's sake. This reminds me of when my dad bought my grandfather a gift, which was this, like, old comedian from the 60s or something like that, a book of him. And I remember I was there when my dad got it, and he actually said, you know, oh, my dad loves this because it was so-and-so from the 60s. He gave it to his dad, and the first thing my grandfather said was, you won't remember who he is. Obviously, he remembers who the frick he is if he got you the present. And this is exactly the same situation. I'm just so feeling so much secondhand embarrassment. Like that whole figured you might like to learn something. After they said that they knew and that's why they made the freaking joke. At CFU, I am smarter than you. How? Mathematics surrounds me. What the frick do you mean by that? Is your dog pie inches long? I mean, the, the, the dog joke wasn't really funny. It was a bit of a low blow and yeah, 3.14, oh, funny it's small. I mean, just the, what the frick do you mean by that made me laugh a lot more. It just got that image of, you know, that meme of this Brazilian actress with like all of the like mathematics equations going around her with the frown. It's like that all the time. 
And I think that that's what he might have meant, that like, that's what happens to him all the freaking time, but no. Everything is mad. <laughs> so he kind of, it surrounds everyone. Important question. When you use a heart emoji, what do you use? This is like a modern sorting hat. I'm a professional editor. I don't use emoji because I can leverage the power of the English language. Little coloured blobs do not enhance the strength of my prose. Girl, oh, but you know what? The strength of your prose means absolutely nothing when it's just like writing a little message asking someone how they are and giving them a smile. Why do you have to be such a killjoy? Why is it with these people that feel the need to flaunt just to, it's some sort of weird superiority complex, you know? Now these very smart people are against people using heart emojis. By the way, I use the two little pink ones that are whooshing around each other. I think they're cute. Watch soccer, football, winky face. Even with an IQ of 140, I cannot understand the point of soccer. I once asked my Swedish roommate why he was watching people kicking that spherical polyhedron into the big reticular parallelepiped. Safe to say he was speechless. Yeah, because you looked up like the technical term for certain things so that you could use great big fancy words just because you couldn't be asked to say goal or rather you knew the word goal but you wanted to make it seem like you had no idea like a freaking alien or whatever. I'm not surprised your friend was speechless. He was probably thinking how the hell did I get locked up with this absolute annoying twat. <laughs> I took an IQ test. Oh god, and I'm superior. And you believe that from a website? Yes. Oh no. This is how it begins. It begins with one of them taking an IQ test, getting something that says that they're smarter than everyone else because that's what all of the IQ tests say because they want you to feel good about yourself. And then boom, they ruin everybody's day. <laughs> and I have a STEM PhD. And I earn six figures. And I use the phrase stochastic terrorism. Do I sound smart or am I smart? You sound unbearable to be perfectly honest. Yes, absolutely. Oh, it's another case of if you have a PhD, then yes, you know a hell of a lot. But you know a hell of a lot about one specific subject. The, you know, the lexicon and the jargon and the technicalities of which most people are going to know. I don't know what technical terms for science stuff means because, you know, I, I don't know STEM words. I don't know fancy STEM stuff because that's not what my educational background was. And of course, they expect no one else to know these words. They don't expect anyone else to know, which is why they use them. They think, oh, I'm going to use this because I know what it means and no one else will know what it means. And therefore, they'll know I'm smart. And if you've got to boast about all that stuff on Reddit, then <laughs> you really got to like analyze what you're doing with your life. Yes, they do sound unbearable. Huh? He's probably thinking about other girls. Him? If I blow out my mouth, cold air comes out. If I blow... Hot air comes out. All these dumb mother frickers who don't know basic thermodynamics probably have a heart attack from seeing the entry level B mode full assumptions ideal gas model. Never mind the full explanation. Get on my level and stop neglecting your wife, you freaking amateur. I don't know what level you're on, mate. I just know that I want to stay the hell away from it. This is just like a silly joke about like one person thinking one thing and then it's just like silly things instead. Nobody's like trying to comprehend thermodynamics so much that their partner's being neglected. Oh, this guy's just waving his dog about. My God. Shared the document with you. Received. Happy New Year. Thanks, but I don't celebrate New Year's. People like me are cognizant of the passing of time on a daily, if not continuous basis. Hence, I have no need for such a holiday. Oh, you know that you can appreciate its cultural significance without needing to talk about why it's a passing of time. Like, people know that it didn't begin on 1st of January, number one. You, you know, it's just how we measure it. Besides, someone's trying to be nice to you and, you know, clearly this is like a business relationship because it says, share the document with you. So they're trying to be friendly and then you come back with that? <laughs> come on. Grow up. Stop, stop being so childish. That's what it is, is it's childishness. What kind of fish is made of only two sodium atoms? Two? Nah. That awkward moment when you actually get these puns and chemistry isn't even your field? Yes, it's because it, it says it right there. It, it says two nah. And, you know, that's that sounds like tuna. It's, it's pretty easy to figure out, Pink. 
Well, that's it for this episode of RSSI. I'm very smart. I don't know about you folks, but my brain is absolutely throbbing at the immense knowledge that's been packed into there during this episode. As I say at the end of every episode, if you enjoyed hearing from this subreddit or would like to hear from any other subreddit, then do let me know in the comments. And until then, I'll see you all next time.